God bless them for 10, 20, and 100 fold. Uh, increase in your house, Lord. Reign over this place, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, at this time we're calling for church announcements. One quick announcement, please don't forget about Night of Hope. Hope is still alive that we're doing. It's going to be a lot of fun. The 30th of April, please don't forget Mark and Kelly. Uh, 
Um, it's going to be a good, good time. Also, we will not be traveling to Kabul anymore. That has been postponed, but I need to meet with uh, the music department in the multi-purpose room after service for like five minutes or something. Thank you. Amen.
along with us. Jesus said, take the Lord along with you. Everywhere you go. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we bless God for Jesus uh, on today. We appreciate all that God has done for us. But listen, I want y'all to do me a favor. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and release the children from Children's Church. Uh, but adults, I want y'all to come on, scrunch on in. I know you're comfortable where you're at. But I would ask if you please uh, do pass this favor. Scrunch all the way on up. Uh, squeeze right in next to each other. Come all the way to the front. We got these open seats on the front. They're not reserved for nobody special. They're reserved for you. So, so scrunch, scrunch on up. I'm asking you just if y'all were at a basketball game, with none of these front seats being not neither one of them. You get a front row seat at center court, you pay a whole lot of money just to get there. We got the word coming. So I ask you to scrunch them up because the word is the word is what you need more important than any basketball game or football game for that matter. Thank you, Jesus. I want to appreciate you for being here today. I want to thank God for my sister coming to be with us. Thank God for my beautiful sister sitting there. Elder Melinda Knight. Brought a friend with us, Sister Lawan. God bless you. Thank you for traveling with us and coming to spend this, this time with us. Want to appreciate you. Uh, I got up here for a couple of things. I want to uh, introduce my son, uh, but I also want to tell you about tonight. Now, we are coming back tonight. We're coming back at 6 o'clock. I want everybody to come back. Uh, those that's not here right now, I want you to get on the phone call and tell them to come back out tonight. Uh, we got a young man that's going to be bringing us his first sermon here. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Minister Justin Day. Yeah. God has given him a word for tonight. This is his first one for us, and we want to be here to support him and let him know that we're just standing behind him, cheerleading him all the way. It'll probably be sort of difficult for you to see him because he can't hardly stand beyond this podium. <laughs> He's so little. We might have to get something for him to stand on so you can see him when he when he's preaching. Stand up, brother Day. Where is he? He's going to show the church. But yeah, we want him to stand on something so y'all can see him. He's there. <laughs> but y'all just be supportive of him, all right? Come back tonight. And let's hear what this young man has to say. His first sermon to us, Minister Justin, let's be in support uh, of him. I want to thank God today for my son that's going to bring us what thus saith the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Our very own AP is coming with the word. And I believe that God has put a powerful word down on the inside of him that he's going to share with us. And I want y'all to take the word in. Don't push it off, but it's for you. That it'll be strength to your bones. I'm not there about to stand where you are. We want to appreciate our AP. God has brought him not just from a long way, but God has brought Andy from a mighty, mighty long way. How many of remember when Andy first started coming to church over at Timothy? Anybody remember the days? Anybody? Amen. And Andy used to walk in with his hat turned halfway sideways. <laughs> Pants hanging off of his butt. Y'all remember that? Shoes halfway untied down in the design of sunglasses. <laughs> you can still smell the new ports uh, coming through his clothes. Still smell the Jack Daniels <laughs> and the bicardi and the mother brothers. Y'all remember, you can still smell it coming through his pores. I even thought sometimes I could smell some of them left-handed cigarettes coming through his pores. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, indeed. But when the doors open on Sunday morning, even though he may have just laid down at five o'clock. The doors open on Sunday mornings. He was in here. Thank you, Jesus. So don't tell me what God won't do. Thank you, Jesus. And some of y'all that knew him back in the day probably wrote him off. Say he's never going to be nothing. Look at him coming to church smelling like alcohol or reaper. Y'all remember. But here he is today. Look like someone wants to tell him. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? But here he is today, preaching the gospel. 
men and the light that lines up with the word of God. So come on, clap your hands.